Hello everyone. The task here is configuring extended access list, scenario 1. Two employees need access to services provided by the server. PC1 only needs FTP access while PC2 only needs web access. Both computers are able to ping the server, but not each other. Part 1. Configure, apply and verify an extended numbered ACL. Step 1. Configure an access list to permit FTP and ICMP. Determine the first valid number for an extended access list. To permit FTP traffic, enter permit. This ACL permits FTP and ICMP. ICMP is listed above, but FTP is not, because FTP uses TCP so you enter TCP. We could filter just for PC1 by using the host keyword or we could allow any host. Enter the wildcard mask. Configure the destination address. In this scenario, we are filtering traffic for a single destination, the server. We are only permitting FTP traffic, therefore, enter the ACK keyword, then, enter FTP. Create a second access list statement to permit ICMP traffic from PC1 to server. Note that the access list number remains the same and a specific type of ICMP traffic does not need to be specified. All other traffic is denied, by default. Step 2. Apply the ACL on the correct interface to filter traffic. We apply the access list 102 interface, G0-0 with the inbound direction. Step 3. Verify the ACL implementation. 
ping from PC1 to server. The ping is successful. FTP from PC1 to server is successful. Now, we ping from PC1 to PC2, but the destination host is unreachable. Part 2, Configure, Apply and Verify an Extended Named Access List. Step 1, Configure an ACL to permit HTTP access and ICMP. Named Access List start with the IP keyword. This access list filters both source and destination IP addresses, therefore, it must be extended. Enter HTTP only as the name. All devices on the PC2 LAN need TCP access. Enter the network address and the wild card. Finish the statement by specifying the server address, and filtering www traffic. Create a second access list statement to permit ICMP traffic from PC2 to server. The prompt remains the same and a specific type of ICMP traffic does not need to be specified. Step 2. Apply the ACL on the correct interface to filter traffic. We apply the access list HTTP only to interface G slash 1 with the inbound direction. Step 3. Verify the ACL implementation. Ping from PC2 to server.
the ping is successful. We cannot FTP server from PC2. But we can access the web server through the web browser. That's all. Thank you for watching.